One thing that we always get asked as astronomers around Christmas time is the Star of Bethlehem. And people want to know, what was it? Was there really a star? The fact is that a lot of people have looked into the astronomy of the Star of Bethlehem, and everybody who's looked has come up with an answer, but not necessarily the same answer. The really important question to me is, why did Matthew tell this story of the Star of Bethlehem? He's the only one who records it. Was it uh, a symbolic story meant to emphasize the divinity of Christ and the kingship of Christ? You know, to say it's just a symbol doesn't mean it's false. The important thing about symbols, as Pope Benedict has reminded us, is that they stand for something very important and very true. So the story could be merely a symbolic story. It also could very well be an astronomical event. And there are a number of candidate events. I have here three different books that have described what the Star of Bethlehem might be. And I'm illustrating them with a program called uh, Starry Night. The first one is the idea of Michael Molnar from his book, The Legacy of the Magi, that says, the Star of Bethlehem may have been the rising of the sun, which would have occurred at uh, March 29, 4 BC. And as the sun was rising, the astrologers of that time would have been able to calculate the positions of the planets. Even though you can't see the planets because it's daylight, when you look further, you recognize that the planets are all lined up behind the sun. And the rising of all these planets with the sun was a symbol used going back to the time of Caesar Augustus for the birth of a great king. Another possibility was expressed by Dr. John Mosley in a book published by the Griffith Observatory that points out in the year 2 BC, we had Jupiter and Venus approaching each other from about twilight to midnight. The two of them would get so close together that they would look to be one really bright star. This happens about once every couple of hundred years. And it's so bright that it would have been noticeable to anybody as a really spectacular event. Maybe that's what the Star of Bethlehem was. There's a third theory that has it that Jupiter and Saturn were very close together on a night on 7 BC, where at twilight you would have had something called heliacal light, which would have looked like a cone of light coming down from the planets and hitting the surface of the Earth. Are any of these what the Star of Bethlehem was? They all might have been. We don't know. We weren't there. The curious thing is not that astronomy can't find a star of Bethlehem, but in fact, we can find dozens of different theories of what the star of Bethlehem might have been. These are just three of them.